You're listening to WCJC Digital Broadcasting Company, a God Corporation, helping creators create what is created. up next on WCJC Digital Broadcasting Company, the King Calvin Jones Jr. Show Live, right here in Detroit, Michigan. What's happening, everybody? This is the King Calvin Jones Jr. Show live. I am the Honorable King Calvin Jones Jr. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It's about to be amped up and we about to talk about an uh, awesome, awesome topic on this day that the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. I say this is the day the Lord has made. Not only has the Lord made a day, but guess what? If you are a Lord, you make a day with God. You become co-creators. You become an heir with God, a joint heir with Christ. I said an heir with God, a joint heir with Christ. That's a powerful thing that you can be a part of the creation process that God even chose you to to be made in his image. I said, that's a wonderful thing to be able to be created in God's image. You, for you to be a creator who can create what is creative. You are a creator who can create what is creative. So the enemy, he wants to try to manipulate you to think Otherwise, but I'm going to tell you something. There's a new heaven and a new earth that's going to happen. But see, it's just like the nations in the Bible. If you ever heard it from the biblical teachers that taught it proper, you'll find out that God gave places new names. Now, we haven't, most people haven't been here long enough to even understand what God fully was trying to do. They didn't understand it from the beginning that God had plans of a new heaven and a new earth. We don't know how many times this earth had to be renewed because of something that mankind did. We don't know why if, if God started naming earth Uranus. We don't know if God started making a new earth or a new heaven Saturn. We don't know because some of the... uh 
the religious writers beginning to put down uh, actually talked about the horoscope you ain't hearing me they were some of the people that were talking about that your sign you had this sign this was your particular uh, gifting that went along with that and that you represented it from some place but you don't really get the fullness of what God intended you to get out of it yeah mankind had put an illustration on it but you don't know if God put it in the heart of a man to say we gonna build a new heaven and a new earth you ain't hearing me you are created to create with a new purpose and a new life for even your children's children as many that are far off from you God got promises that your forefather was supposed to get your granddaddy daddy 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 was supposed to get but you didn't allow yourself to, you didn't allow that mind to be cast down. You, you begin to formulate all kind of imaginations, images. What is an imagination? An image of you having a nation. And so you begin to build it and you begin to get the results that you had. And so folks didn't understand that the picture in your mind that you begin to create was what you now see. And then you don't have a nation, but it ain't the nation that God entitled you to have. You might have a nation full of liars. You might have a nation full of hypocrites. And then you can see your, your Facebook friends and begin to look at that and say, well, most of y'all do got a particular nation. To have a nation, you only need a, a certain amount of people. Hello, somebody. All you need. There's a certain amount of people to begin to follow after you, to begin to follow after you, to have a nation. And some of you have created nations of liars. Some of you have created nations of thieves. Some of you have created nations of murderers. Some of you have created, yeah, you created a nation, okay, of hypocrites. Some of you have created a nation of people who had the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life. Some of you created a nation of transgressors. Yeah, your fan base got you got thousands of people, but you don't you don't know how to do the first thing that God told you to do to be uh, blessed in having a holy nation. You don't hear me, but you got a thousand plus followers, but you didn't get the process that God wanted to make you a holy nation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people to have dominion, to be able to dominate the creepy thing, not another person. I said the creepy thing, and sometimes that might be the locust, the canker worm, the palmer worm. Sometimes you might just be that thing that we have to overcome sometimes to have dominion over because you are nothing but a canker worm. You're nothing but a palmer worm. You're nothing but an embryo. So guess what? You are small to God. My God, I said you are small to the creator of the universe. Uh, you are small to him because he is greater greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world I said greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world so you might begin to duplicate and deal with things on a certain level but God has strategically planned a parenthood for his people. Give God glory. You walk into your Godhood, your creatorship. Some people don't want to give the God the glory right there, but he is the one that gave you the mindset. And Psalms 82 is right there. You might not have never seen it before, but it's right there. And the devil is a liar. God standeth in the congregation. Guess where he's standing at? That means God was actually standing in the congregation. He say, God ain't, he ain't somewhere else. He's standing in a congregation and his feet, the earth is his foot suit. So where he's standing at, you only seeing his feet. You ain't even seen his head yet. Glory to God. I said, you only seeing God's feet. You ain't even seen his face. He's so big that you ain't even seen him. Hallelujah. You never seen the righteous. Oh my God forsaken either or his seed. 
begging bread. I want to encourage you today to begin to get prepared for something that your ancestors never came into. Your mama mama never came into. And sometimes you got to leave the strange place to go somewhere else that God has created you to be in to do a great work and a great exploit unto God. I ain't saying for other people, but I'm saying for the kingdom of God to be established. There is some establishment that has to happen. God is getting ready to establish you. I say that as a man of the God, as a man of God, I might not have been with start. But one thing I know how to do is to connect to the heart of God. I know how to turn away from the wickedness so I can see what the revelation of God is. And I've been where a lot of people have been. I wrestle with the flesh. But guess what? The spirit overwhelmed the flesh. Let me tell you, when I think about the goodness and all God has done for me, I can't do nothing but let the blessings of the Lord overtake me. I'd rather have the blessings than the curses any day. And I think that you will find yourself in that same predicament. Can I get a witness like the Jehovah witness to begin to declare that God if he be for you, he's more than the whole world against you. I said, if God be for you, he more than the whole world against you. And if you have a God, the creator of God with you, and then if you have his people, his other people that God does for you, see Psalms 82 said, he said that you had to do something. God, you creator, you got to deliver the wicked. He giving you the ability to do it. He already he know how to do it, but he want to give you the ability to know how. He said he shares his glory with no man, but guess what? He will share his glory with a God. Hello, somebody. You don't understand me because God said he, we are heirs of God, joint heirs with Christ. He might not share his glory with no other man, but he will share his glory with his people. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar to make you think that God don't love you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God God does love you and he will show it not his glory with the man that's at the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye and the pride of life. But what he will do is if you get to that God kind, that God nature begin to bless you like never before and pull you out the blessings that the, you don't have room enough to receive. Some of us, we begin to look at uh, our current circumstances as uh, a way of, uh, well, we're just in this predicament, so we find ourselves isolated, and in the isolation, we begin to tend back to what we're familiar with. Uh, but the truth of the fact of the matter of it is what we're, we're, that's not where you're going to give up at. You're, you're actually not about to give up. You're about to get help from uh, above on today. You, you, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. So God is going to send you help from above and coming down from the father of lights with whom is nowhere. I said he's the father of lights. He don't want to say, let there be light. And there was light. He don't want to get the ideal for the person that created the electric light bulb uh, and all of the other stuff everything that got light he was the father of it he's the producer of everything that has light when you see fire he's the god that produced the fire light and the fire he's the one that it can make an asteroid be seen he's the one to give light to the cloud the skies you ain't hearing me but god is getting ready to do a new thing in this season the old things are beginning to pass away behold all things god said behold all things not just some things not just half of the earth, not just half of the city, not just half of your household, but God said, behold, all things become new. All things become new, meaning that God might not just utilize the same old, same old that we've been used to doing, uh, child of God. He may not, uh, he may not do the same operation that he, we used to, because he said, 
He said, old things will pass away. Old things would pass away. He didn't say old people. You must get that. God did not say that old people pass away. Oh, my God. But he said old things pass away. The, the habits of things.